Hello everyone. Here in this session, we are going to discuss most important 50 MCQs from research and methodology. So let's start. The question number one is the research involves all of the following except. So research involves validation, research involves control, research involves testing, but research does not involve promotion. So except promotion, all are involves in research. So option A is the correct answer for this. Question number two, the research study carried out with the help of data points is termed as. So the research study which is carried out with the help of data points is known as empirical study. Option C is the correct answer for this, right? Next question is, according to the authors, research methods are everything except so research method can should be unbiased the research method should be sequential and research method should be directed but it cannot be unstructured right it cannot be unstructured so option a is the correct answer here because here accept is asking so accept unstructured all can be the possible one next one question number four applied research is directed towards so applied research is called as action kind of research so option b is correct applied research means problem solving obviously applied research is real time problems 100 in one person so all of the above option d is the correct answer for this question question number five the following are features of a good research study except should be replicable 100 percent your research study should be applicable, 100%. Should be systematic and objective, 100%. It should be systematic, it should be objective. Should be completed within three months. No, it is not kind of thing. It is a not kind of any features in a good research. It is not any kind of features. Right? So it cannot be. And should be ethical and unbiased, obviously. So accept. Option C is the correct answer because we have asked is not a good research study feature. So option A, B, and D are features of good research study, but option C is out of it. So C is correct. Question number six. Kingfisher want to evaluate the impact of a promotional offer of a thousand rupees off on return ticket fares on ticket sales. The kind of research being conducted is Option A, applied research. Option B, basic research. Option C, research question or none of the It is a kind of applied research because it belongs to action methodology. So option A is the correct answer. Question number seven. Which of the following problems require research? Flexible work hours scheduled on intention to leave organization. Acceptance of more women-oriented seniors from prime time or voting patterns of Western versus Eastern UP. Obviously, for all kind of stuff, whether it is A, B, C, we need to do a good research to get success in that. Right? So, option D is the correct answer here. Question number eight. The census carried out by the government of India is an example of exploratory Casual research, descriptive research, or all of the above. So, census carried out by the government of India is an example of descriptive research because it belongs to various kind of uh, information in detail. It contains uh, sex ratio of male to female. It contains how many uh, belong to the poverty area, how are middle income. How, each home is having how much electrical gadgets and how much. So ultimately, complete description is there of each and every family where census is carried out. So it is a kind of descriptive research. Question number nine. The primary objective of which of the following is provide insight into an understanding of the problem in the research. So basically, whenever we want an information like insight into, directly we need to focus on exploratory research because research kind of thing belongs, provide inside information, inside into an understanding of the problem concerned. So 
whenever you see the comment, you will you can directly do it. Exploratory research. Option A is the correct answer to question. Question number ten. Which of the following is a type of conclusive research which is specially formulated to give a description about a phenomena or a group? So, if you are going to see longitudinal research or exploratory research or descriptive research, or research obviously descriptive research design is a type of conclusive research which is specially formulated to give a description about phenomena or a group. Option C is the correct answer. Question number eleven. Descriptive research is conducted for all of the following reasons, except to describe characteristics of relevant groups such as consumers, companies, consumers, and consumers. Hundred percent is kind of description research to determine the occurrences of the study variables. Hundred percent is also belongs to descriptive research. C to understand which variables. Are the cause and which variables are the effect of a phenomena? Hundred and one percent. It is not a part of uh, you can say descriptive research. And option D to determine perception of concept and their features. So option C is here, uh, which you can say that uh, except it is not a feature of uh, descriptive research because descriptive research uh, are obvious. They want to explore the behavior of the of some groups. They want to explore. They want to go go into depth information of that. Right? Option C doesn't belongs to descriptive research, where A, B, and D belongs. Question number twelve. Test units are also called as independent variables, experiment, treatment, or all of the above are false. So basically, if you are going to look here, test units, I don't see that uh, any option is belonging here. Neither it is belonging to independent, neither experiment, neither treatment. Right? So option D, I will go with option D. All of the above are false. Test units doesn't have any kind of relation with that. Right? Question number 13. In an experiment, the researcher manipulates one or more variables in an attempt to determine its effect on the answer would be dependent variable. In an experiment, the researcher manipulates one or more variables in an attempt to determine dependent variable. Option B is the correct answer. Question number 14. Which of the following is true about field experiment? Right. So, option A is here. High internal validity, high external validity, high internal and external validity, none of the books. Which of the following field experiment is high external validity? Field experiment, so high external validity. Okay, question number 15. O1, O2, O3, O4, O5, O6, O7, O8. The above design is an example of one group protest. Post test design or multiple time series design or pre test, post test, control group design or time series design. 100% the answer would be time series design. It is an example of time series design. Right? Time series design. Option D is the correct answer for this. Question number 16. In comparison to primary data, Secondary data can be collected rapidly and easily, 100% true, at a relatively low cost, in short and with less effort. All of the above are true, 100%. D is the correct answer. Question number 17. Census of India is the indicate data source, internal data source, government, I hope everybody knows. Census of India is government data source. Okay, question number 18. Qualitative research is essentially the same as quantitative law. Generally employs rigorous mathematical analysis. No. Is subjective in nature. Yes. Is objective in nature. No. So qualitative research 100% is subjective in nature. Option C is the correct answer. Question number 19. A technique in which a single respondent is questioned 
one on one by a highly skilled interviewer to uncover underlying motivations beliefs attitudes and feelings on a topic is called focus group projective interview in depth interview or unstructured obviously it is structured and uh, interviewer wants to uncover underlying motivations beliefs attitudes and feelings on a topic so the answer would be in depth interview it would be in depth interview and guys before proceeding ahead i am requesting all of you that uh, uh, if you guys are going to like this video you guys are going to comment and be interactive with us definitely i am going to cover so many papers one by one back to back it will definitely going to be helpful for you further if you are getting any doubt any confusion or any query in any question you can put the question number or you can ask your queries in the comment section as well right but don't forget to subscribe and please like and share it with your friends as well okay question number 20 what type of question is the following the question is if you were selected your favorite holiday destination and what are the reasons for this what would you answer leading question loaded fifth alternative or open 100% it is a open ended question right so option d is the correct answer question number 21 consider the following question don't you think the current government has an excellent poverty alleviation program we need to answer it in yes or no we need to answer it in yes or no so it is a leading question loaded question double barreled question or interval scale question such kind of question we need to answer here in a or uh, in yes or yes or no so it is a leading question right it is a kind of leading question not a loaded not double barreled not interval scale it is a leading question right because we need to answer it in yes or no question number 22 so question number 22 is a multiple choice question in which a person can select more than one response category more than one response category is called dyke thomas question likert scale question ambiguous or checklist it would be checklist kind of question right 100% you know the meaning of all this checklist for more than one response option d is the correct answer question number 23 the question is which of the following is not a probability we is not a probability sampling plan so systematic sampling is a uh, sam probability sampling plan cluster sampling is also probability sampling plan the stratified sampling is also probability sampling plan but convenience sampling is not a probability sampling plan so option c is the correct answer for this question number 24 in simple random sampling design each element of the population has the following chances of being selected in the sample okay in simple random sample simple random 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 means chances would be equal and no let's say here it is a coin so what is the probability of head or tail it is equal 1 by 2 and we know that is 1 by 2 and it is equal right so random whether you can take example of dice or not, right so option c is the correct answer equal and no question number 25 the question is which of the following statements is true samples are less expensive non sample errors reduce with increasing size of sample size right you should not say meaningless simple random sampling is more efficient than statistical sampling samples are less expensive is true we can feel it and option a is the correct answer question number 26 the uses of frequency distribution the uses of frequency distribution to get an extent of non response to detect the presence of extreme cases to get the extent of indiscriminate responses So we we can use the frequency distribution and all these things that we get all of the time. Question number twenty seven. Which of the following gives the measure of consistency of data? Consistency of data. Consistency. 
standard deviation. Standard deviation will be the consistent standard deviation. So option B is correct. Question number okay. For next number question, we need to read the following table, and as for that, we need to answer right. Twenty minutes. The above table is an example. So, so you can easily see it that uh, it is a closed table. We need to one point two four two. It is a closed table. Many many table is given to you. It is a closed tabulation. Example of closed tabulation. Question number twenty nine. What percentage of households have less than five kg? So less than five kg is sixty two out of one twenty. Sixty two out of one twenty multiply with hundred. So if you are going to multiply it, uh, six of uh, okay two six za and two five za and let's say two three za and let's say two. So approximately you are going to get nearby fifty one. That is option B is the correct answer fifty one point sixty seven. Okay, percentage of household have less consumption of ice cream sixty two divided by one twenty multiply with hundred percentage. You can get the sum of percentage. Right. Question number thirty. How many households are there with middle income? So you can say middle income twenty plus Twenty, that is forty, right? So answer is forty. Okay, question number thirty-one. How many households with middle income have high consumption of ice cream? High consumption of ice cream from middle class. Middle class high consumption of ice cream is twenty. So answer would be twenty. Okay, I hope the questions are very simple. One table is given to us for stabilization research. On the basis of that, we need to answer. Okay. For the next three questions, read the following data given below are the marks of the students in exam paper. So these marks are given to us, and what we need to answer: what is the average score of the students? So average score is we need to add that forty plus sixty, that is hundred plus fifty. It would be one fifty plus fifty five. That is two zero five plus forty five. That is two fifty plus seventy. That is three hundred and twenty plus sixty. That is three hundred and eighty plus fifty five. So you can add it four hundred and thirty five plus seventy five. So that is five hundred and ten plus eighty. That is five hundred and ninety. Right. So total sum is five hundred and ninety, and total entries are ten. So average average score is what we are getting fifty nine. So average score is fifty nine. Option D is the correct answer. Question number thirty three. What is the median of distribution of marks? So you can get the median which is most competing here. Sixty sixty two times fifty five fifty five two times. So median would be fifty five and sixty because it is repeating twice. So the between what is the mid uh, mid value of this fifty seven point five? It would be your median option B is the correct answer. And question number thirty four is what is the range of the mark? So range means maximum minus minimum. So what is the maximum mark you can see here is eighty and what is the minimum mark? Forty here, so the maximum marks here are eighty and minimum forty. So the range would be forty. Range would be forty. So option A is the correct answer. Question number thirty-five. For the regression model, y equals to b naught plus b one x plus b two x equals b. Right. X one, x two are determinants. Why is addition none at the average? Option B is the correct answer. Question number thirty. When discussing the pivot of the study, the restraints and shortfalls in data collection in science for the pivot of study, one is writing the 
limitations of this study. This stands short for this. They are limit uh, limitations limitations of this study. Okay, it can be used to display the steps of components of a tumor flow chart. Flow chart display the steps for components. Of the Option C is the best. Question number thirty. Which of the following is the referential style used for writing research paper or thesis? American Psychological Association, Section Three Four. Indian Psychological Association, Section Three Four. Chinese Psychological Association, Section Three Four. Or Russian Psychological Association, Section Three Four. Which of the following is the referential style used for writing research paper or thesis? Option A. Right, American psychological the style, referencing style used for writing the research paper or for thesis. Okay, ICR is the very one. Intellectual property rights. Intellectual property rights. Option A. Question number forty. After data collection from respondent, the researcher can disclose it to anyone. No. Obviously, no. Cannot disclose it to anyone without permission of respondent. Yes. Can sell this data to any agency? No. Option B is the correct answer. Okay. Question number 41. In a line graph within a research paper, this variable is generally shown on y axis. On y axis, we show dependent variable. We show dependent. And x axis we show independent Option B is the question number forty-two. When preparing an oral presentation, what does need to do? To eat the audience? Yes. What does he or she have to hear from the yes. What should be the core of this? Yes. All of the above. We can easily conclude. Question number four. The following tool is best for presenting data to a group. Presenting, we want presenting. Power hundred percent. Presenting. Question number forty-four. Which of the following tool is best for developing a report or thesis? We want to develop report or thesis. We need word document, right? We need word document. Option C is the correct answer. Question number 45. The following tool is best for calculation with the help of formula. Whenever we want to do some calculations with the help of formula, obviously we will go with Microsoft Excel. Excel, you know it, right? So option A is the correct answer here. Okay, question number 46. Which of the following is eGeneral's database? Scopus. Journal of Engineering Intervention, only A is the correct answer. Scopus is E General Database. Scopus is E General Database. Okay, question number 47. Has helped, which of the following option has helped researchers all over the world to work together in a collaboration? Word processing, no. Plagiarism, no. No relation. No question. Information and Communication Technology, ICT. Information and Communication Technology with the help of that. We can work collaboratively, right? Question number 48, WWW stands for, everybody know it, World Wide Web, World Wide Web. Question number 49, Shod Ganga is, you know, the Shod Ganga is a research fire of all the theses which, is have, which have been published yet are uh, having with the Shod Ganga. Shod Ganga is reserved of Indian thesis, right? Okay, the practice of showing someone's work or idea as one's own without proper acknowledgement is from the case. Meaning, if we are showing someone's work or idea or paper as one's own without proper acknowledgement, is from as plagiarism. Plagiarism is the correct technical word for it, right, guys? So, uh, let me try to give you an idea that these 50 questions uh, I have taken from the Ganpat University's uh, paper of uh, 
PhD exam paper, right? PhD exam paper, or you can say that previous PhD exam paper, the complete credit of this uh, paper goes to Ganpat University previous exam paper. And I have to complete question paper from there, right? Complete credit goes to that. Further, I am requesting all of you guys that if you have any anywhere, any doubt or any confusion or any query, you can feel free to ask me. And for more such questions, for more such pairs up with the correct keys and correct answers, please guys do like, subscribe and stay tuned with us. Thank you so much. Have a very nice day. Jai Hind. Jai Bharat.